Born prematurely, Kara is now 38 days old. Already, her mother is helping her fight stress. And she's holding her up on her shoulder so um, Kara can hear her heart rate, and that helps to relax her. It's no joke. New studies show the same emotions and environmental factors which influence adults also influence infants. Research presented by the Families and Work Institute suggests brains develop earlier than previously thought. Experts say this new body of knowledge has overwhelming cultural ramifications. Kids attending this daycare center are receiving the attention they need, but those who don't may always be impaired socially and emotionally. I don't care what you do. I don't care if you take all your money and dedicate it to treatment. You can't build in things that didn't grow in the first five years of life. Touch, eye contact, sensory stimulation actually help the brain to grow. The evidence is in. Scientists have looked at this issue about the first years of life. They've looked in the uterus and they know that this is the basic building block of time that will determine the success of failure of children later in life. Scientists say we're seeing more and more tragic examples of these kinds of failures, surges in kid crime, where children feel little or no remorse about what they've done. They don't have remorse. They have regret that they got caught. Regret is an intellectual response. Remorse is an affective response, an emotional response. They don't have that. And the irony, social scientists say, is that those most important first few years are often the ones given the least attention. It's a very culturally foolish thing. Lisa Price for CNN, Chicago.